Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new to my channel and you don't know already, every few weeks or so I post a makeup stash video where I basically pick a part of my makeup collection and show you guys every product in that section. So I've already done my foundation stash, um, concealers, bronzers, highlights, blushes, um, just a bunch of them. But today we're going to be going through my eyeshadow palette collection. We're just going to be looking at my bigger palettes and then in about a week or so I'm going to be posting my quads and like smaller eyeshadow palettes along with my single eyeshadows. So let's just get started. So this drawer right here is where I keep the majority of my large eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have them all lined up here and then a bunch in the back. So we're going to go through them one by one. So the first palette I have here is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I have had this thing for so long, it was my first high-end buy ever, um, so it holds a special place in my heart. It's not my favorite palette ever, I know everyone raves about it and loves the Naked palettes, but personally, I don't think they're that amazing. I feel like I can't get that many looks out of them, they don't have enough matte shades for me. The quality of the actual eyeshadows is incredible, um, I think Urban Decay eyeshadows are amazing um there's nothing wrong with the eyeshadows i just don't love the color selection and i feel like i can't do that many looks with them but this palette does include my favorite shade of all time which is half baked right here i do have that on my eyes today my favorite gold eyeshadow in the whole world um and i love this one right here Next, I've got the Pure Cosmetics The Buffs Collection eyeshadow palette. Now, I keep this right beside my Naked palette because this palette's actually a dupe for the Naked 3. So, that's why I don't have the Naked 3 because this is a dupe for it. Um, I barely ever use this palette. I think I've used it twice. It's not that great. The shadows are kind of powdery. Um, the mattes are actually quite good. But these shimmers are very powdery and a little patchy. You can still work with them if you use a bit of MAC Fix Plus or if you use the shadows wet. I don't use these types of shades very often, so it's not a problem for me. But I received this in my December BoxyCharm video. Um, it's actually quite a pricey palette. It's like 50 bucks. I would personally just go buy the Naked 3. Um, because they're almost the same price and the Naked palettes are a lot better quality if you are looking for a pink tone mauve palette like this one. Next we've got some palettes from Makeup Revolution. First one here is the Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 2. And this is actually a dupe for the Naked 2 palette. I love this palette. If you guys live in the UK or if you are near an Ulta, go to the Makeup Revolution um, display and pick up the palettes. They are such great quality and they are so inexpensive. I think I paid around five to seven dollars um, for this palette. It was US dollars, but still very, very inexpensive. The shadows are amazing quality and you get a great selection of mattes and shimmers. And if you're looking for an alternative to the Naked palettes, these are great. I only picked up the number two. Now they actually have Makeup Revolution in Canada, so they actually sell it at London Drugs, so make sure to check the brand out. And then I have this palette as well. This is the Redemption Palette Essential Day to Night. And this isn't a dupe for anything, but I love this palette. I love the pink tones in it. You have some smoky shades, this beautiful purple, and this blue right here, which I still want to do a tutorial with because it's such a beautiful pigmented blue. These palettes are really great quality. Um, I love them, and they are so inexpensive. Another drugstore palette is the... Blushed Nudes by Maybelline. I do not like this palette one bit. I've mentioned it in some disappointing products videos. Um, the quality in here is not good at all. I would go with the Makeup Revolution palette if you're looking for a um, drugstore palette. And those are actually cheaper than this palette. This is like $15. Um, I just don't like this palette. The pigmentation is off. They're very chalky. Um, they're hard to work with. I would just skip on the Maybelline palettes if I were you. Next, I've got the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is what this looks like. Um, this used to be so big on YouTube and that's when I bought mine. It's honestly such a great quality palette if you are looking for a really inexpensive eyeshadow palette. This is around three to four dollars and you get eight beautiful shades. You know, you have your neutral browns, some nice pops of green, and then this beautiful duochrome um, maroon blue shade. I just did a tutorial using this shade right here. I'll link that down below. 
Um, but this palette is so good. The pigmentation is amazing. The quality is great and it's very, very inexpensive. So I'd highly recommend this to you guys. I have another palette from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Coming In Latte Eyeshadow Palette. This is n not nearly as good of quality as their Comfort Zone palette. I would honestly skip on this palette and go with the Comfort Zone. The shadows in here are just kind of flaky. They're kind of chalky. They're patchy on the eyes. The matte shades are actually good, but the shimmers, they don't really show up how I'd like them to. So this palette is not my favorite compared to their other palettes. Next palette I have right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This, to be honest, is one of my all-time favorite, favorite palettes. I used a bit of these two shades on my eyes today. It's such a beautiful palette. I love my warm tone eyeshadows. They're my favorite. And this palette has it. Um, I just think the quality is really nice. These eyeshadows are drenched in pigment. So make sure you tap off your brush. But you get so many matte shades, which I love. Because I feel like matte, I use way more matte shades than shimmer. And then you get some beautiful highlight shades right here that I love. It's just a great, great palette. And I use it non nonstop. More drugstore palettes. I've got three palettes right here from Milani. Um, I did do a review on these palettes, which I will link down below. I will also link any other review video that I did on any of these palettes, so just check the description box after to see more in-depth videos on any of these palettes. The first palette I have is the Bare Necessities palette. This is number 02. Um, this is the perfect palette for anyone just looking for a neutral eyeshadow palette. You get six shades in here, um, two mattes, and the rest are shimmers. I think these palettes are really, really good. Not the best I've tried, but certainly one of the best at the drugstore. I think you get a great shade selection. I love this chocolatey brown, this taupe, and these shimmers are really nice. I think this is a great palette for any of you looking for a nice neutral little eyeshadow palette. And then I have 03 Smoky Essentials. This one's also gorgeous if again you're looking for a blue tone smoky eyeshadow palette you get three matte shades and three shimmers the matte shades are gorgeous i love them so so pigmented this black is one of the most pigmented blacks i've come across and you get these beautiful blue shades right here and then the last palette i own is earthy metals 05 and this one is definitely my favorite it's a warm tone eyeshadow palette you get these beautiful um like rich pigmented um, warm tone uh, matte eyeshadows and then you get four shimmers in here this one's also beautiful I like all three of these palettes um, and they do have other shades I think if you're looking for a really really great quality eyeshadow palette at the drugstore these are the way to go the brush in here is also not bad for the lower lash line so yeah these palettes are a win in my books another drugstore hit that if you don't have you need to go to the store right now and get your hands on this this is the Sonia Kashuk ion neutral matte eyeshadow palette this is one of the best palettes I've ever tried. It's definitely one of my top five palettes. You get 12 matte eyeshadows in here that are just so rich and pigmented um, and they blend beautifully. I love these eyeshadows so much. You can use this palette for any look. It's great to travel with because it's nice and sleek and small and you can just create any look with this palette. I highly recommend this. It's one of the best matte eyeshadow palettes I've ever tried. This palette is so, so good. You can find Sonia Kashuk at Target. So if you have Targets near you, go pick this up. Next palette is the W7 In The Mood Eyeshadow Palette. Now, if you can't tell already, this is a definite dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Basics 1. Um, I like this palette. If you guys are looking for an inexpensive dupe for that palette, this is definitely the way to go. I paid around $7 for this palette. If you're in the UK, you can find this. And if you're not, you can buy it on Amazon. Um, the shadows in here are pretty good. I don't use it that often because I think it's kind of a bland palette. But if you're looking for a just, you know, very, very neutral matte eyeshadow palette, this is the way to go. Then I have my Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette. I bought this when I went to the States this summer um, at Ulta. And I really, really like this palette. I haven't used it lately, but I love that you have a full row of matte eyeshadows and then a full row of nice shimmer shadows. And look at this gold shade, guys. This is definitely my favorite shade in the palette. It's just so pigmented. This palette is really, really great quality. The eyeshadows in here are spectacular. Highly recommend this to any of you do, who just want a palette that can give them so many looks. You have so many shades in here to work with. I think 
this palette is a definite win. We have a bunch of palettes from e.l.f. here. I have two of their Prism eyeshadow palettes. The first one here is in the shade Naked. And their Prism palettes are really, really good. They're very pigmented, almost foiled-like shadows. If you're looking for a nice shimmery eyeshadow, these are the ones to go for. Um, this, again, is more of a neutral eyeshadow palette. You can't create many looks with this because there are no matte shades, but it's a nice palette to have around to add a nice shine to your eyelid. And then I also have the um, Smoke palette. This is the same type of idea. You just have more smoky eyeshadows and more fun colors to play with in this palette. And then I have the e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette. Um, I love this palette. It's one of my all-time favorite palettes. I use it all the time. I actually used it today for this look right here. And it's just so good. It's around $10 and you get 10 absolutely fantastic matte shades. These blend so well. They're super pigmented and I highly recommend this palette. Okay, I've got some palettes from Hard Candy. This is the Hard Candy Smoky Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. I used to use this so much. It was one of my first ever palettes. Um, I have not used it in the longest time, but these matte shades right here are really good. I think this palette is actually pretty decent. Um, they are very pigmented. You can work with them. So, yeah, I like it. I just haven't used it in a long time. And then I have the Hard Candy Top 10 Naturally Gorgeous Eyeshadow Palette. This was actually the first eyeshadow palette I ever purchased, and I have not used it in years. I kind of just keep it around for reference because... You know, the palettes I have in here that I don't like, I could just get rid of, but I do keep them around for reference since I do reviews and stuff. This palette is not good at all. It's very chalky. Um, they just literally apply, like, chalk to your eyes. There's so much fallout, I would not recommend this. And then I have these palettes right here. These are the Mariposa eyeshadow palettes. I got these from my local dollar store. Um, on my channel here, I do dollar store finds where I test out some dollar store makeup products. I actually do have a full video with swatches and the whole review of all of these palettes, so I will link that down below. These palettes honestly aren't that great. There are a few, you know, great shades in these palettes, but honestly, I would just go with Milani or Sonia Kashuk or e.l.f. If you're looking for a cheap option, then going to find these and just liking a few of the shades. But if you want to see that video, I will link it down below if you guys are interested on more information about these. Next, I've got my Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. This has become one of my all-time favorite palettes. I use it so, so much. I actually don't think you can find this anymore, but if you can, I will link it down below. And if you still can get your hands on this, get it. It's such great quality. Congrats to Kathleen Lights for coming out with such a beautiful palette. I love the warmness of this palette, and I also love that she added a few fun shades so you can kind of change up your looks. This palette is pretty inexpensive. I think I paid $15 US. Um, you get a nice array of mattes and shimmers, and I think the quality is really nice. I've got my Coastal Scents 70 Eyeshadow and Blush Combo Palette. This palette was, I think, the second palette I ever purchased, and I remember when Coastal Scents and like BH Cosmetics and brands like that were super, super big, so I thought I was just so cool for having this palette, um, and it's not that good. I do have a review on it if you guys want to see with swatches of every single shade in here. I used to use it all the time. The shimmers are not bad in here. There are some hidden shades in here that are great. But uh, if you are looking for a nice fun palette just to play around with, this is fine. It's just $20, so very inexpensive and you do get a lot of shades. Honestly, I would kind of skip on this unless you're looking for just like every single shade you could imagine and you're okay with the quality not being that great and having to build up these shadows. But if you're looking just for a palette with just a few fun shades, I would go with the Lorac Pro or the Revolution palettes or even the Milani palettes. They have some fun, colorful shades. Next, I've got this Mary Kay palette. It comes with three eyeshadows and a blush. I did a first impressions on this, which I'll link down below. Honestly, they're really great eyeshadows, but I just never reach for them because I just reach for the palettes I use more, um, my favorite palettes, you know. So I just don't use this that much. Then I've got my Too Faced Chocolate Bar and Peach Palette. The Chocolate Bar Palette right here is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. I use it so, so much on an everyday basis. I just love these shades in here, especially Salted Caramel and Marzipan. They're just such good eyeshadows, and I can create so many looks with this palette, and it's just me in a palette. Like, these are my all-time favorite shades. 
Then I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I did a review and tutorial using this palette, which I will link down below. This palette, honestly, I feel like it's better quality than the chocolate bar. I love the shade selection. I just do prefer the shades in here more, but the quality in this one is amazing. I love the eyeshadows in here. They blend out so nicely, and I highly recommend this palette. And this one smells like peaches, and this one smells like chocolate, so what more can you ask for? So I just love the Too Faced palettes. And then finally, the last large eyeshadow palette I have is the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. I received this in my November BoxyCharm. I really like the shade selection. It's more cool toned, so it's not colors I gravitate towards, but I think the shades are really, really nice. I've used it a couple times, and I love that BoxyCharm included this palette. So that's it for my palette stash. Um, stay tuned until next week where I show you guys my smaller eyeshadow palettes and my single eyeshadows. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a long one. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.